Protecting food from decaying is perhaps one of the things that made civilization possible. Fungi, while useful in some ways, can become a nightmare when you try to keep bread and juice from getting spoiled. Why? Well, it obviously has something to do with their mode of nutrition. Keep watching to know more. To understand how juice is spoiled by yeast, the study of yeast and fungi. A glass full of orange juice remains fresh at room temperature only for a few hours, after which it gets spoiled. Why does it get spoiled? If we observe a magnified view of the air near the surface of the juice, numerous microbes like bacteria, virus and yeast can be seen. Yeast cell is unicellular, elliptical in shape and is saprophytic in nature. Inside the cell, we observe a prominent nucleus, numerous granules and fat globules. These yeast cells contaminate the juice. In this medium, the cell gradually grows in size and after attaining a maximum size, it forms a small projection on one side. This is known as the bud. By the process of budding, yeast cells form daughter cells. Let us now understand the spoiling of juice due to fermentation. The yeast cells absorb sugar molecules present in the juice and the enzymes present inside the cells break them down to produce ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide as byproducts. These products diffuse out of the yeast cell. This causes the juice to change its color, indicating that it has been spoiled. Fungi When a piece of bread is kept outside for two to three days, we find some cottony growth on it. This is the fungus growing on the slice of bread. A closer observation shows that this type of fungus has a thread-like hyphae growing on the bread surface and we also see some vertical outgrowths called sporangiophores. This fungus is known as mucor. Penicillium, another fungus, has mycelium made up of thread-like hyphae, is branched and the hyphae have partition walls. The vertical hyphae have dense, brush-like, spore-bearing structures. These fungi are found growing on moist, decaying matter. If we look around, in a similar kind of habitat, we also find mushrooms. These are another type of fungi and the body is divided into a cap and a stipe. To summarize, let us take a look at three most common types of fungi. Mucor, which possesses undivided hyphae and vertical spore-bearing hyphae. Penicillium has thread-like hyphae and partition walls and they also possess brush-like spore-bearing structures. The third type is commonly seen mushrooms with a cap and a stipe.